I think, you know, whenever you get asked that question, what do you want to be when you grow up? I've always wanted to be an artist. I didn't know how or what, but I knew that that was something that I wanted to do. My name is Sophia Chang. I'm an illustrator and designer, and this is my hustle. Welcome to my workspace here in LA. A lot of fun illustration stuff. Beginning of this year, Adidas was getting ready for the Copa Cup and they had done this special shoe with them. And so I had a chance to work on this really large mural that lived on the window display for their Fifth Avenue store, which is amazing, especially coming from New York, you know, just to have my work on Fifth Avenue. It's kind of a huge honor. So Donovan Mitchell was with NBPA and they wanted to highlight Donovan Mitchell as not literally Rookie of the Year. Um, I guess they, they call it Leader of the New School and so this was a really fun illustration to be able to highlight that. And then with the MLS, one prominent one is um, Scarf Timber for the month of September. They're essentially like scarves for that people could purchase that was really all about um, raising awareness and raising money, funds for uh, childhood cancer. So we can kind of go over here where I can show you a little bit more about my work. Um, I try to keep all of my sketches. Some of the sketches for this guy is actually on here. This is like this workout studio in LA that I like going to, and I really didn't like their decor and wallpaper. So I actually had reached out to them, and a lot of my opportunities are like this, where like I just asked them, hey, my name's Sophia, I'm an illustrator, can I make some stuff for you? You know, aside from client projects, I'm always looking at different ways that I can tie in personal things that I enjoy and, and turn opportunities, I turn those in interests into opportunities. And another prominent project that I worked on was a collection with Puma in 2013. So this was supposedly their top lifestyle grossing collection up until Rihanna had done hers. The intention for this project when I worked on it was really to create something for everyone. So I created kind of a different colorway for each kind of consumer. Future wore it, Jay-Z wore it, Rihanna. It totally came as a surprise. I didn't know the collection was gonna do so well. And the collection, also got me in a number of books. So there's a sneakers book and they kind of cover everything street culture related and sneaker culture and so here I am. <laughs> I've been drawing pretty much my whole life. I never even knew what the word illustration was until I got into college and I actually pursued a major in illustration. And then after I graduated school, it was just like any other person's story, starving artists, you name it. Uh, counting change to try to take the train and buy a metro card to go see a potential client and doing calls like that. One of my larger breaks was definitely working on the illustration for Anthony Bourdain. I had a friend who knew somebody who knew somebody that had worked with the production company for Travel Channel and they were looking for an illustrator. And so they had recommended me. The production company put it on Facebook. It was so well received that I got a direct call from Travel channel to hire me for the entire project so that was amazing and of course there was a lot of great press around that project itself which then helped to bring a little bit of awareness for me. I think the biggest takeaway from that is also the fact that I did this completely free. I did it just simply because I thought it was a great opportunity so I was willing to invest my time and my energy into the project. Yeah and I'm really grateful to be able to have worked with um, a lot of the brands that I have now but a lot of it really is a lot of work and I know for sure that 10 years ago I definitely couldn't have dreamt to have been able to work with all these great clients. We are here in Long Beach, California at the Art of Bloom exhibit. And so Undo, my health and wellness platform, is gonna be hosting a special event tonight, which is a yoga practice in collaboration with Jiva Mukti Yoga. Undo Ordinary is a health and wellness platform that I started with my business partner. It really came from just our natural interest in the sciences and health and wellness and learning about all these things and having come from more of a streetwear kind of culture 
we realized that a lot of this messaging doesn't exist for us. And Undo has been this platform for us to be able to share that information. And it's led to a lot of great opportunities to work with different brands. We're hosting a yoga event at a art exhibition called Art of Bloom. And so they had reached out to Undo to see, hey, what's a cool way we can work together? One of my favorite yoga studios in New York just opened up in LA. And so I was thinking, hey, why not tie everyone together and have them host a yoga class underneath this beautiful exhibition and we'll tie in all of our communities and bring everyone together. I'd say one of my favorite quotes was from one of my global studies teachers and he said, whatever it is you're gonna be, treat it like you wanna be the best at it. So if you're gonna be a doctor or janitor or a librarian, treat your work like you wanna be the best librarian there is. My hustle means a lot to me. I mean, the word hustle on its own really speaks to my upbringing, uh, being a native New Yorker. I try not to take things as just face value. I'm always thinking of ways that I can turn it into something bigger and grander. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe at Whistle.